Okay, cardstock, torn, and I'm going to put it uh, a little bit above where I've already brayered, not too much, because I am using kind of a middle color ink between the Baja Breeze and the Pacific Point. I've grabbed Brocade Blue and a Stampin' Sponge, and I'm just going to really try and get a lot of color next to that torn edge there. This is going to take me a minute. But this is what's going to cre create the look of like a horizon, the ground being snowy. And I love the graduated colors of blue here. I'm just going to move that down a little bit and repeat it, move it over as well so I don't get the exact same pattern right on top of each other. Let's see. And I'm going to ink it again. So again, just really getting that a deeper shade of this brocade blue or the darkest shade of brocade blue I can get there. Whoops. All right. And see how I've got more of a horizon now? And I'm going to just fill that in lightly so it looks like a bed of snow on the ground. All right. So it's pretty, but let's add a little bit more focus to it. I'm going to grab my basic gray ink, just going to use another part of my sponge, and I'm going to sponge the edges. It's a little bit, it's a little bit dirty, this card <laughs> makes you dirty, um, but I really love the, the sponging and how the gray really adds focus to this tree image, makes it look even more like a nice cool wintry night alright so you get the idea here I go all the way around the edges it takes a little bit but that's okay because it's worth it so let's pretend I did the whole thing and I'm gonna grab my other layer of vanilla layer that on. I've only allowed an eighth of an inch because I just want a touch of vanilla there to make my image pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to layer that on the Always Artichoke. And then another layer of vanilla comes in and I've already used the ticket corner punch on all the corners and used the sponge with again that basic gray ink so it mimics it. I'm going to put this tree on here a little bit off to the side. I have stamped Noel in Pacific Point ink and punched it out with a small oval punch. I've punched out a scrap piece of Always Artichoke with the large oval punch and I'm going to be able to just place that on with a couple of dimensionals on either side and then I'm going to use my paper piercing template and mat and paper piercer. I'm going to line this up. I love this black line to help you find a straight edge or you can use the row of dots there. So I'm going to use the middle dots and maybe I'll start oh, this look here looks good. So I'm going to punch one, skip two, punch one, skip two, punch one. And then I would take some Always Artichoke brads from the Rich Regals brads and put those in those three holes. Attach it to the card front and voila! You have a lovely card that looks like a wintry snowy evening and all because of that emboss resist technique. The embossing powder resisted the ink that we brayered and sponged. So have fun!